The Inveniusable Flytrap Monster first appeared in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2, Episode Welcome to Venus Island. It's a weird one format-wise. The quick summary is that Lord Zed plans to kidnap Trini's young neighbor, Hallie, send her to a place called Venus Island, and hold her for ransom in the form of Tommy's powers. I feel like that's a very generous overview considering how clunky this episode actually plays. At least for the first half. Once the Rangers figure out how to get to, and then travel to, Venus Island, it picks up. They're met with the master of the island, the Inveniusable Flytrap Monster, who, in my opinion, is one of the best remembered monsters from this season. Bandai once again knocked this figure out of the park with its likeness to the character. They really didn't miss a beat. On top of that, they nailed the action feature. Press a button on the figure's back, and the flytrap chest opens and closes, just as it did in the episode complete with great molded detail underneath to boot. Be warned though, you can usually see a lot of loose examples being sold online that are without one or both of these chest panels. Not only that, but sometimes, even if both panels are there, the mechanism can sometimes be damaged and not open all the way. They also released this figure with two accessories, even though the monster didn't wield anything in the show. The first one is an additional handheld flytrap that opens and closes, which I'm kind of a fan of in theory, not so much in practice. The second accessory is some kind of alien sidearm. I suppose it looks okay for what it is, but its aesthetic clashes with the organic plant look this monster has going for it. If that wasn't enough, just look at the way this figure's forced to hold it. Love these palm holes. Just miserable for not only play, but display as well. Looks like a cut-out paper doll that a kid glued something to the hands of. I can accept peg holes in hands as a way to ensure a good grip on an accessory, but at least get the fingers involved. The way these are positioned on the palm makes them so ineffective. Look past this figure's weapons, and it's really an A-plus for me. Definitely a welcomed addition to any Power Rangers collection. For any other die-hard fans out there, I should probably note that, interestingly enough, this monster took on the Rangers without the assistance of any putties also got destroyed by the Power Blaster and never grew to Megazord height. My understanding is the footage they had to work with didn't complement this story of being set on an island, so it was written around and left out. The Inveniusable Flytrap does make a few other appearances in the series, but none of them stand out over this episode. Like many of the monsters from MMPR, this figure is quite easy to pick up in package or out as of the making of this video. Curious what your thoughts are? Please share and tune back in for future Monsters of the Week action figure videos. Also, please be sure to try out our podcast. Just search Toy Talk Guys in your podcast app of choice, or click on one of our links in the video description below. Thanks for watching.